back here with another Vinyl Finds video. It's been it's been a little while since the last time I've actually done one. Uh, it kind of seems like that is the theme all the time, but uh, I have been uh, accumulating some records since the last Vinyl Finds video, and I figured it was a good time to actually start showing them off. Uh, the first uh, several albums I'm going to show are all kind of, uh, well, from, from the same bands, from uh, Dave Matthews' band. Of course, the new album, Come Tomorrow, uh, just recently came out, actually just came out on vinyl, uh, I think just a couple of days ago uh, from this recording. Um, but uh, definitely super psyched uh, that the album's finally out. Uh, I mean, I've, I've listened to Come Tomorrow. Um, I mean, I got the CD when it came out. Uh, I actually, you know, I have several tickets to Dave, Ma Dave Matthews shows, and uh, I think I got the actual CD from the tickets, because you bought tickets, you got... Uh, the CD for free, but uh, I got it like a week after it was released. So I couldn't, I definitely couldn't wait. I couldn't uh, help myself, so I actually had to uh, buy the CD when it came out as well. But uh, do have some several tickets for uh, Dave Matthews Band coming up and this week. Um, very excited uh, for those shows. Um, really looking forward to it. But uh, of course, come tomorrow. It came out on CD a couple weeks ago. The I, I actually the album came out on Friday. I actually got the album in the mail on Friday from the warehouse. I ordered it uh, from the warehouse because they actually had uh, some pretty cool uh, little bundle that you could buy, and they had an, uh, an exclusive colored vinyl as well when you pre-ordered it on this white uh, vinyl, which uh, looks pretty cool. The album sounds great. Um, I honestly really enjoy it. I've listened to it several times since it's been out. I've uh, spun the record once, I've listened to CD, the CD multiple times, but uh, you know, I mean a lot of these songs they had played live previ previ previously, uh, like Samurai Cop, um, I heard when I saw them a couple years ago, it's actually they played that song then, uh, so it was cool to hear the studio album of course, uh, Black and Bluebird, another awesome song, Virginia in the Rain, I really like the song She, on here um do you remember um my least favorite song on this album is probably that girl is you i think uh, a lot of people's least favorite song is probably that song um i've uh, i've heard live versions of that song and it sounds to me a lot better than the studio version i just uh to me the way that dave matthews sings that song is just uh very different in my opinion how he normally sings the songs but uh definitely super psyched to finally have this on vinyl, it's a tremendous uh, album from the Dave Matthews Band, and uh, I know they actually had a, a, a couple different uh, different collar variants as well. I know Target had an exclusive collar, and uh, I know uh, it seems like a lot of the local record stores have uh, maybe it's just a black vinyl one, but if you buy it, you get like a slip mat with the uh, Come Tomorrow cover on it. And I've been tempted to actually uh, buy another copy just to get the slip map. But uh, also, when you pre-ordered it through the warehouse, you got a uh, Come Tomorrow companion disc. It's got like 10 songs on it. Um, all just various live songs. Uh, no live songs from the album. It's just uh, uh, just a few songs on here. They was So Right, number 34, Why I, Why I Am, Alligator Pie, number 40, Rhyme and Reason, Drunken Soldier. Just to, to name a few songs off of it. Uh, but it's a pretty cool uh, live um, companion disc that they, that they threw in there, uh, the CD, but, uh, the two things that I was really, uh, looking forward to from the bundle, um, uh, was these two, uh, Dave Matthew Band live albums. This one is an acoustic show that they did in New York on April 5th, uh, 1995, uh, just, uh, just got recently, Water and Wine, Line or Graves, Dancing Nancy's, uh, Typical Situation, Jimmy Thing, uh, Say Goodbye, Two Step, Tripping Billies, John, Song That Jane Likes. I mean, it's got uh, several, several just great songs. Just the, the set list in the back, and I'm going to sit here and read them all. But uh, awesome show to have on vinyl. And the other one that uh, I picked up, well, they all came in a bundle, and uh, this one is uh, Benny Royal Hall from October 24th, 2002. Uh, one that I'm really looking forward to um, spinning and listening to. Uh, just an awesome set list as well. It's got uh, The Stone, Grace is Gone, Crush, Dancing Nancy's Too Much, The Space Routine, Bartender, Grave Digger. Um, just a 
very uh, cool set list. And uh, some just a really cool bundle. And that actually had a really uh, really good price on it. I think like all the like the three albums, the bonus disc was less than a hundred dollars. So it was uh, not that bad. I think those are like three. I want to say three or four uh, LPs, and they're all together. So really not a bad uh, little deal all together. But uh, really excited to be seeing Dave Matthew Matthews this week, and definitely got some material to get even more hyped to uh, listen to those live albums. But uh, moving forward, um, yesterday, um, Saturday, June 30th, was uh, the relaunch of Irvington Vinyl. Uh, they had a lot of cool stuff going down there yesterday. They had some live bands. Um, it was uh, crazy busy as well. Uh, it was very difficult to find a uh, place to park, which is an awesome thing for them, but uh, they had to have to walk a little bit uh, to get to Irvington yesterday. But definitely well worth it um the uh redesign of the place looks great uh, they kind of moved stuff around the new owners did and uh rick the old owner was uh, still there helping out so it was pretty, pretty cool to see him still there but uh there was quite a few people there and if irvington Michael's not like a massive store so it was kind of hard to uh, move around with all the people there so definitely looking forward to going back there um uh, when it's a little less hectic but i did uh pick up one album in there and uh just looking through uh, their psych section and uh i found july the second of july um i think this one came out with i mean it's a like outtake songs they did recording the first july album in uh, 1968 and uh, i mean i played this yesterday and it sounded it sounds fantastic like i actually had never uh listened to this one and uh rick the um the former owner of uh irvington was actually telling me that uh, this is a really solid album so i was really glad that i picked it up and uh this uh, sounds very very good um i think this one came out in like 1995 or 6 or something like that uh with all well, these songs on there so and it's just on uh, black vinyl it's a uh, uk pressing but uh definitely a very cool album uh to pick up and uh also picked uh, the, this uh, spin magazine up in there as well they had the magazines in there for a dollar uh very cool uh kind of iconic cover from spin with uh of course kurt and courtney and francis bean on there uh, so definitely had to pick up that up for a dollar but uh that was all i got at, at irvington but definitely super excited that they're reopened and looking forward to making more trips down there in the very near future uh yesterday i also did go to luna music after irvington and uh just looking through their new arrival used bin and i found a, an original copy of black love by the afghan wigs uh, in tremendous shape uh, so i had to pick that up and uh, pretty stoked that i was able to find that so overall a pretty good uh couple of finds yesterday at irvington and luna um a couple about a week ago i picked up the a new uh, buddy guy the blue the blues is alive and well album uh this particular copy is a uh, Barnes and Noble exclusive and I actually wanted to, to specifically get it at Barnes and Noble because it was on this uh, blue vinyl which uh looks pretty nice but uh I had to pick that one up at uh, Barnes and Noble because of that and uh the Barnes and Noble one did also have a couple uh like art prints with it as well I mean, you can't go wrong with Buddy Guy. I mean, just a great album. Uh, got to see Buddy Guy uh, last year at Bourbon and Beyond. I know he's playing in Louisville again in September, so uh, definitely a show that I'm going to try to make. Just a fantastic uh, blues artist, great guitar player, and uh, just a great album from Buddy Guy. And then I got picked up several albums from... The Vinyl Rescue Project. Um, the first one is the picked up the new, the new well, new old, new re, new list fair reissues from her albums from the past. Of course, this is White Chocolate Space Egg. Um, originally came out in 1998. And I also picked up uh, just the self titled list fair. I originally came out in like 2003, I think. Um, not my favorite list fair album but definitely had to get it uh just uh kind of complete the list fair collection of albums i'll definitely get 
any of the other ones that they want to reissue. But uh, also, I have to, of course, I had to pick up the new Nine Inch Nails, Bad Witch. Um, I really enjoyed this as well. Uh, it's only got six songs on it. Uh, a lot of people kind of saying it's an EP. I think Trip Reznor actually says it's an album, but uh, and I think they treat it as an album. But uh, it's like thirty minutes long, so it's not like a short album, but uh, probably shortest Nine Inch Nails album. But uh, really enjoy enjoy it all the way, and uh, definitely had to pick up that new Nine Inch Nails. And uh, of course, uh, Blind Melon Nico recently came out. And I had to I picked that up on vinyl as well. Um, just an awesome album to actually finally have on vinyl uh, for the first time ever. Uh, just a real great, great album, of course. Came out after uh, Shannon Hoon had passed away. And uh, definitely one that I will spend several more times. And then an album I picked up at Half Price Books is uh, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard uh, Quarters. It came out in like 2015, I think, originally. I was just looking through uh, albums at Half Price Books, and they had, I think, like five dollars on this album, and I was kind of surprised because I, I don't know if they necessarily know what they had. And not that this album's like worth a great deal, but uh, I feel like usually you can kind of tell that they go to Discogs and see what it's go selling for on there, and that's what the price they put on it. But uh, it's got four songs on it that all come in at like ten minutes and twenty five seconds. Um, really, really good album from King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. And I was actually pretty surprised to pick that up for uh, relatively cheap. And the uh, the last album I'm going to show here is one that I picked up on uh, Discogs. And this is one that I've been honestly, honestly been wanting to get for a while. It's uh, Frank Black's first solo album, of course, Black Francis from the Pixies. Uh, I mean, I just love this album. And uh, one of those albums I've been wanting to get for a long time. And I don't think this album was ever pressed in America. Uh, I know this particular copy that I have is uh, one uh, from England, and uh, I mean, so I, you see it on Discogs, but you never see it like sellers in the United States, and uh, I don't want to pay like twenty dollars to get it shipped to me. But uh, one popped up from a seller in the United States, so I uh, for a good price too, and so I definitely had to uh, pick that up. But uh, just a solid album from Frank Black. I uh, love the song Los Angeles. Some of the songs I can listen to over and over and over again. Uh, but uh, just all the all around, just a solid album from uh, Frank Black. And uh, that is all the, uh, the albums I have to show. But uh, definitely looking forward to uh, Dave Matthews band concerts coming up. I got Smashing Pumpkins coming up, and of course Pearl Jam in August. So definitely uh, looking forward to uh, the summer. And uh, definitely hope to have another Vinyl Finds video up sooner than later. But anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. I hope everyone has a great day and a happy 4th of July.